What happens when three buffoons give life advice, explore unrealistic situations, and give random topics more thought than they probably deserve? It's the Spitballers Podcast with Andy, Mike, and Jason. Oh, yeah. I'm in on that one. Taking a ride on the Zooey. Welcome in the Spitballers Podcast, episode 120. Three. Oh, one, two, three. One, two, three. I, uh, yeah, you know me. I liked it. Your enthusiasm never wavered throughout, which um, is important to a good scat. You had, Crucial. Uh, it was a variant on, I mean, I haven't heard anything like it. That's um. Sometime, that's a good scat, my friend. Look, you, uh, you shoot for the stars. Sometimes you land on the moon. Yeah. And, um, but you, know. you didn't. I didn't. You landed in the stars, my <laughs> oh, friend. Yes. You're beyond being able to come back. You <laughs> either so either way, I'm dead. You know how Jason feels about Zooey's. Oh, yeah. <laughs> At Spitballers Pod on Twitter, Instagram.com slash Spitballers Pod. You can watch the show, YouTube.com slash Spitballers. Welcome in. Welcome all the brand new listeners to the show. As you heard, it's episode 123. So if you're brand new, you have a lot of episodes that oh, you can my listen gosh. to. Clear your calendar. So, I mean, award-winning episodes. Jason. Multi. Jason. Multi. Multi-award winning. I apologize. Back-to-back <laughs> award-winning best comedy podcast, 123 episodes to listen to. A lot of you have built up some vacation time at your uh, respective jobs. Mm -hmm. We recommend you don't use that to vacation. We you use that to listen to the oh, show. It's you a take, vacation. You take a couple weeks. Yeah, vacation this from is you yourselves. Time. That's right. This is you time and us time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You and us. We're with. We're all together. More well, us than uh, you. But. And it, I mean, we could prove it to you because we've got a review to read. Review Asaurus Rex. This one comes in from Mark's mama. Mark's Whoa, Mark's, Mark's mama. mama. One word. Five stars. Whole family anticipates Monday. Shows come out Monday morning, and we, as a family, just love it all. All the segments have become favorites. I'm a teacher, and in this crazy year, have stolen many a would you rather for my classroom conversation starters. We're gonna we're gonna need a billion on that one. Oh uh, yeah, but brilliantly funny, <laughs> off the cuff conversations that feel like you're sitting with your most hilarious friends. Clean comedy. Mm. Well, thank you, Mark's mama. Got it going on. Uh, wonderful review. And Jason is right. We do charge a small royalty to classroom students if they use our Would You Rather questions, which are all individually copyrighted by Al Borland. Mm -hmm. He spends most of his time on paperwork, and then we obviously sue who we need to. So many nickels we have collected. Yeah. But thank you for all that paperwork, Al. And dimes. That's true. Really we, nickel we and dime <laughs> people. Yeah. Oh, gosh. It's one of those episodes. Here we go. Would you rather? Alexis from Twitter, would you rather live with a robot who cooks delicious meals for you every day or live with a robot who <laughs> cleans Bob. your home every day? So the robot either cooks delicious meals or cleans your home. Sounds like I'm going to be getting two robots. <laughs> that is <laughs> Where not is the robot option. store? Because I would like to buy... Honestly, if I could have my entire, like, every cent that I make mm -hmm. goes to just buying All more robots, nickels. and I could just get a, a, a home full of robots, whew, that'd be the life. Imagine the people in the future. I mean, the people will be the Jetsons eventually, because the, we've all seen the, the robot dogs out of, what is it, Boston Dynamics, mm -hmm. if those things don't, you know, kill us all. <laughs> Yes, Singularity uh, realize that their robots are being mistreated, but yeah. eventually there'll be robots that can cook and clean. Yeah, that's what you think, but I, the Jetsons, you know what I think about with the Jetsons? What, Rosie? I think about putting my hair in one of those things, and it does it cuts the hair and styles it, and then every day you can get a fresh cut in the morning. Yeah. That's what you care about most? No, it's not what I care about most. I'm just saying you said that we'll be the Jetsons. I don't think we're getting flying cars, and I don't think hmm. we're getting my hair cut just like we aren't getting the hoverboards. It's all a lie. 
I think the gap we're between get there. those the gap between those little Boston Dynamics dogs running around doing nothing for seventy five those are seventy five thousand dollars by the way you can Whoa. buy one. Wait, you, I you cannot can buy, buy one. <laughs> well, you are wrong. You, What's their leasing options? Uh, <laughs> and of course, uh, this came up because our family is getting a puppy, and uh, you looked well, into the mechanical well, dog first before we even decided to get a puppy. My son, he's like, "Let's get one of these," and I was mm. like. You don't really want a robot dog. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Sorry. Uh, philosophical moment time. Sure. Um, I apologize, Alexis, from Twitter. We'll get to your question. Maybe now. Maybe. Um, if there was a robotic dog mm -hmm. that was, let's say, 75% uh, acted like a like a real dog. like Got you it. Know. Three legs. Got it. <laughs> yes. Good math. But no, I mean more in... <laughs> behavior cadence what they'll do yeah. they'll jump up and lay on your lap and yeah but it's a robot there's yeah. no life mm -hmm. this thing goes and sits on a charger oh, while man. you sleep you're, you're do you, speaking my is, language right now man is there any reason to buy this thing like w would you want well i mean that would you want just a robot that comes and like steals your electricity you got to feed it steals your electricity well, wait, I, wait hold on what Hold Am on. I giving? I don't have to give it shots. Yeah. It never dies and makes my kids sad. It never. So, but I'm confused at the part where it's taking my electricity, but I also have to feed it. With, Why do I have to feed the robot? Yeah, you not feed electricity? it electricity. No, I'm feeding it electricity. I was just trying okay. to double up on the negative. Little here. Ele electricity cubes. But my point is this: what? Because I'm a huge dog lover. Yeah. I love dogs. Yeah. What good would that not real dog ever bring? Could you find joy in that? Could you? I bet you could. Love yeah, that yes, dog. I guarantee you could. Yeah, you. I, see, Mike, I, I thought you were going to go the other no. direction. I'm completely with you on this. I could never love that thing. I think you could because if what you're saying is true, then that dog shows you all the things that you like about dogs. Therefore, you would build an, an affection for it. But I know it's not real. Yeah, okay. but have you ever seen the, uh, the Mandalorian's got like a droid robot in there? They, they form a connection. C-3PO? You don't have a connection to C-3PO? It's, it's not just that. And this isn't robot, but Jason, I, you are like me. You can be a very emotional man when you are watching a movie. Absolutely. So when you're watching, you're watching Game of Thrones and, you know, a character that all the, that you cared about, all of a sudden they are now gone. Mm -hmm. And you're telling me inside you didn't go <gasps> oh, absolutely. and hurt that this fictitious creature that you have never spent a single physical moment of your life with. Which you, is also an actor. <laughs> like they are, yeah, they're, this is they're not, not a even real a real thing, person. But you care. You ca we are human beings. You, We all have had an item in our life that we are sentimentally attached to and you can't get rid of it. And it, at the end of the day, you're like, well, it's, it's a toenail clipping, but no. I've had this since the fifth grade, you know, and, and I just can't get I, I, I can't get rid of it. I don't have affection for things. I don't have a memento Impossible. that I Okay, okay, okay. Let me give you a different story then. Okay. A dog, we understand, a more intelligent creature. There is a res reciprocity. Is that a word? There's it a, is now. now. There is a... <laughs> I love Michael Keaton. The, the dog doesn't experience what you experience. You, it, it experiences dog affection from you, but not what you're experiencing from the dog. But an animal like I don't know, a gerbil or a a, a a rabbit, these the experiences that those animals are having, they they don't have the experience you like do. A snake. You're basically keeping them in a cage, but you can form a huge affection to them and love them, and they would really rather leave you. Yeah, and they're like, you keeping me in this cage, you turd. Yeah, let me out. I mean, I don't know how that's different than a robot. Look, you guys make really strong arguments. <laughs> the actors, the uh. caged animals, but there is something about life that I, I mean, I realize it's it's people acting out life, but this machine, I don't know if I could or not. Yeah. Interesting. I mean, the 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 android in like you know C three PO. That's probably the best. Like, I could see imbuing it with those elements, but I need I needed to have those elements. Anyways, would I be allergic to the robot dog? They can build that in, yeah. Oh, they'll build it in. Yeah, <laughs> if you a, want. It's a feature. Would not you like a bug. minor allergies? <laughs> All right. So uh, Alexis has a question from Twitter. Yeah, oh. yeah the question that you didn't answer because you right. answered both. Uh, so, Cooks delicious meals or cleans your home. I'm going to assume that this robot I have imbued with all the emotional uh, <laughs> love. And while I love them cooking and I love them cleaning, I 
enjoy one of these tasks oh. and despise one of these tasks. Could you imagine life with a robot that just cleans up everything after you? I would love that. We got three kids. We all have three kids mm -hmm. here. They don't clean up after themselves very well. And this robot would make sure that they never have to. It's tough because autopilot meals is really. Yes. I mean, I and Mike, I knew yes. you would go that way. But not having, it's not just making the meal. Like making the meal can be fun. It's actually thinking about it, buying the ingredients, planning it, cleaning up after it. Autopilot meals. Yeah, lock it up, man. That is, you would take the yes, cook yes, over one, the cleaner. 1,000%. I'm sitting here thinking I pretty much get autopilot meals already. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at me. Well, I just mean my wife, take, I'm not a good cook, and she's outstanding and does it so well. So I guess I would probably ask her which one she wanted and go with that robot. You do both like, of these things anyways. Picking up is obnoxious. I am also not the best uh, picker upper after myself, just can't but bend, can't bend but, down. But when it comes, yeah, it's really far down. <laughs> I got to say, I got these tight hamstrings. Yeah. Uh, but cleaning, when you're actually like, when you start to engage in the act of cleaning, it's really not that bad. I mean, you you if you're gonna vacuum, pop your headphones. The in. headphones are key, man. Yeah, I mean, you're gonna like cleaning the bathroom. It sounds like this daunting task, but you're really done in about five I, minutes. I have had a couple of times recently where. My wife has cooked an incredible dinner. There's a lot of mess. I get up to help clean the mess up, which, mm -hmm. you know, I try to do because she spent all this effort and time. And a couple of times she's like, please don't. I would like to listen to a podcast and just go into a zone. Oh, I would like so to buy whichever robot you do not need <laughs> off of you, and then I will have both. So we're going to work out a deal here. You get no robots. I get two ro robots. So you win. Yes. This is a great – thank you, Alexis. And now what, hap what happens then when uh, robot EXV passes away? I would cry. I would absolutely 100% be devastatedly heartbroken. All right. Brett from the website, would you rather retire 10 years earlier or work two hours less each day? Mm. That's a great question because, and I think those lines are nice, Al, because 10 years, it's earlier, but it's not, you know, your whole life, but two hours less per day, that's a lot of life stacked up over. So what's the, what's the, uh, the normal? Eight hours a day. No, the normal no, retirement age. Like 65. I mean, and if you took 10 years away from that. You oh. would get uh, a number that I could not possibly tell you about. Oh, no, we can't do that on this show. Yeah, we don't have the drive. 55. Thank you, <laughs> Sammy Hagar. Uh, two hours less each day. So you normally work. Uh, so that'd be a 30-hour work week for your whole life. Yeah, That's I mean. I, so, you know. Let's get philosophical again. All, All right. Great. I know where you're going, too. What is retirement? Is retirement where you are just cruising around the world on, do you get, go from one cruise ship to the next and it's all relaxation and luxury time? Or do you just simply, uh, you know, shift and go into philanthropy or, or some other uh, the, work yeah. that is productive you know what i mean like what do you guys think you're gonna hmm. do in your retirement it's it, it's what i was going to answer this question with which is uh, i like working because i you know it, we have a career that i enjoy doing so i think i would rather do the two hours less each day keep that part of my life going but to answer your question i think it is the removal of the obligation to work Mm. So if you want to turn, if you want to take a year off or two years off, if you want to, you're not under the gun. You're not under the demands. That would be my. I mean, technically, I think most people just think of it as not working anymore. Right. But if I wanted, if I've just, man, I'm so passionate about building birdhouses. I just love them. Yeah. And I can't make a career out of that because I'm building little birdhouses. But if I retire and I choose, like that's what I want to do with my time. I think that's cool. Oh yeah. So I think I'm taking the ten years. That's I think cool, Daddy O. <laughs> I think uh, <laughs> like I don't don't hear what I'm not saying. I absolutely love my job. We are we are blessed to be. Are you going to start doing something like that when you quote unquote retire? Are you going to come up with a hobby that has no connection to money that you just can you be fulfilled in that in the sense that you know could you be a whittler? I think I oh, have to. Could you whittle? Yeah, you have to fill your time with something. You have to 
come up with a hobby. We were talking about this the other day, right? Like what is Twitter. what our what are our hobbies? Oh god. And my hobby is nothing. I don't have time for hobbies. I I would love to play video games. I love video games. Mm-hmm. I I don't play video games. You want to know why? No time. Well, you're raising children, and we all are doing that. And we feel like that that's kind of when we all said we didn't have hobbies, we were like it's cuz mostly we have, you know, we all have three kids. They're in school. That's our hobby in a lot of ways is just like parenting, parenting. And that will go away. So if that's a hobby you enjoy, you could always like I've always thought one of the things that's interesting is, you know, adoption, fostering. Those things can be done by people in their 50s. Wait, and 60s you want to start over? Well, no, not necessarily start over because if you're fostering and stuff like that, you can do that at yeah, 55 or 65 and, years and not old. have to feel like you're starting over. It's a, it's a No, you're just starting over all the time. If you you're don't, old, man. If you, you did your time. If you don't like it, you don't got to do it. It's oh, a lease situation. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> you know, it's like... <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that joke, but I love it. It's good. Uh, it's a good callback. <laughs> I'm just trying to decide whether to call back to emotional connections or not. But um, no, Mike, you don't have to foster or oh, adopt any kids at 60. Thank goodness. But I don't. I know I'm not going to be fulfilled by playing video games all day long. That I might, know that's why you golf. That might last for a, yeah. Golfing, <laughs> golfing and breakfast. Pickleball. Golf. I will oh, be man. a professional pickleball Look, player when I are retire. Are we gonna Are we gonna <laughs> golf together when we're old? <laughs> when we are old. It will just be competition after competition. We'll figure out what our Dang. old men bodies can actually right. still do, and we will just be competing. Dude, give me 10 years of that. <laughs> I can't wait. I'll work. You I'll only work get two, 10 years? I'll work two yeah. extra hours. Well, you know. Right, right. When I, I retire, I've got probably about 10 years left before I retire. <laughs> <laughs> the big, the big retirement, the big retirement <laughs> in the ground, the big R, <laughs> the big retirement. Oh my goodness! Yeah, I mean, I. Uh, Where's Jason? I oh, retired. You retired. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. The big R, <laughs> the, big, the big one. Um. All right. Did, did we answer this, Mike? Which are you officially taking? Uh, I'm gonna take. Uh, I don't know that the competition part sounds pretty sweet. Yeah, the ten years earlier then. Uh, yeah, I'll take the ten years. It's not like the real question is just like if getting two hours a day back would that really make you feel like you have more time? Probably not. You'd probably just be parenting for two more I hours. I was gonna say it might be worse. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh man, we got pretty sweet jobs here. We got to go home, help with more homework. Can I vote two hours more yeah. per day? Yeah. <laughs> Um, Al, do we have time for another would you rather? Uh, yeah, we do. Okay, Brad from Patreon. Would you rather have the ability to jump over anything you are looking at Ooh. or the ability to fit through any tight space that you're looking at? Let's let's tease this out. One of these has been an active problem for me over the last year. <laughs> the jumping one? <laughs> Not that oh. one. <laughs> the fitting in the tight spaces. <laughs> like, oh, that car is really well, part. By tight spaces, do you mean you pants? You mean getting into a car. <laughs> I don't mean pants. You just said now, getting into a vehicle. Yeah, well, so, yes, I've got a practical example from literally last weekend. I was helping move. You shouldn't. I know I shouldn't. I've got a bit of a weight problem. Um, I was helping a family member move, and so I rented a U-Haul. And so I, I, I go, and, and it's all yeah, touchless right now. And I find my truck, and I've got to get into this thing. Man, they are parked so close <laughs> together. These are big 15-foot trucks that have – I'm going down an alleyway of like a foot and a half between these trucks. And I'm trying to – I needed butter. I'm trying to squeeze like, through these two trucks. I was like, this is not going to happen. I was like, do I walk around all the trucks and try from the front? Also, U-Haul, get some more parking spots. Did you get in? I got it. All right. We did it. Oh my gosh! You know what's funny is when I heard this question, I instantly pictured two, th- one thing for each. Jumping over anything, the first thing I thought um, of was the Grand Canyon. I was like, I just oh, want to jump over the Grand Canyon. I thought of a mountain. Okay, there you go. So I mean, that's an intense jump. I thought of a basketball hoop. <laughs> yeah, a little okay, less d- different dreamy goals, over here. But you're jumping over the hoop. Yeah, be like, oh, look at me try. I couldn't dunk. I would not be able no. to dunk because I You'd I would have to over. jump over. Yeah, it. but that'll be like. That'd be a Sports Center top ten. If you jumped over and threw the ball down, yeah, that's a crazy dunk. <laughs> that would be a top ten if you jumped over a basketball. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it would. 
the the small one i instantly thought of like a keyhole like an old timey keyhole just sliding through the secret lock door okay like alice alice in wonderland yeah just yeah i mean i don't know how practical that now, is not a lot of locked doors i'm running into these days <laughs> Especially with, with old, see, yeah. with old timey, with old timey, the yeah. I mean, like a crack under a door. Yeah, I mean, what? What are there any restrictions? I mean, how large is this gap? Like a, a, a an electrical outlet. Yeah, and sure. I can, I can, but I think collapse this, to that. This insinuates you're traveling through. There's got to be, there's got to be an exit. You know, some of these keyholes that you're just going into a doorknob. Jason can rent. Live, Jason can rent U hauls all day long. Right, right, exactly. This is incredible. Uh, I didn't know it was so sci-fi here um, with what we can do. But what I, I'm you moving? You moving this weekend? Not a problem. I'm. <laughs> I got, I'll get a truck. I don't care how close they're parked together. Um, I don't see the practical reason for being able to squeeze through tight space. When is the last time that you two normal-sized gentlemen needed have? To a needed to like squeeze? you've seen a place you you just need to squeeze through. I mean that's a good point. I mean I guess you could do. Uh, I can't think of anything. You you, need, you ever want to go under a car? I mean, uh, you, I mean, there's definitely cool stuff you could do. But, Al, can you but think not of nearly, anything? Not nearly as cool as jumping. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Neither one of these are practical, but the jumping is more practical. Like he, oh, it's practical. I, I spill a giant soda all over the kitchen floor mm -hmm. the paper towels are on the other side Pfft, no problem mike's mike and I I are jump. jumping over yeah. mountains <laughs> you're like i could clean up a little bit easier i can jump over this whole coca-cola oh spill God. i'm walking downtown this building's in my way i'm gonna jump over it but mr <laughs> jump over a spill you gotta raise your expectations it's literally here, a man. millimeter high are you blocking your pathway with spills on a regular basis also you can't jump the spill how big is this spill? Yeah, man, it's a six foot spill. It's a wide. It was a, a two liter. It was a two liter, and I waited. I just watched it for a <laughs> it while just, as it continued oh, to no, spill out. Oh no! Someone do something. I can see Jason picking this one and then just waiting for a two liter to spill for months <laughs> on end. But I was trying this to out. come up with practical things. Like, yes, I could go see a, a skyscraper and jump over it. Awesome. But what is a practical, useful? A, a time where you're like, man, I really need to jump over this thing. I'd be getting on cruise ships while they're already at sea. So you're jumping over the ocean. I'm jumping over the to ocean land. to the cruise ship Ooh. and then back. That's pretty sweet. I okay. don't have so a lot. So super practical. I don't think there's practicality, well, practicality on either side. I, mean, it's I the just same gave thing. you a really practical. Yeah. The two liter spill is the most practical do thing. Do you want to walk across this and have the sticky shoes or do you want to just jump it? 30 Six years I haven't had a need to get from one side of a spill to another via jump. You've had to jump over a puddle, though. Oh, sure. yeah. Okay. Sure. There we go. Practi Very rarely. Practical. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's move on. That's a great question. All right. That's a great question. Mm. Noah. From the website says, time for the spitballers to settle another marital dispute. Well, there's... Oh. That's what we're here for. Experts, actually. Just ask our wives. How do you correctly use up eggs out of the carton? Is it by rows or columns, right to left, left to right? Well, this is, uh, this is a great question, as the title suggests. It's an important one. Um, and there is clearly a right method. I don't, hold there? on, hold on. Last time we had one of these, you guys ruined my life. Okay. Did we really improve your life? Is that what you mean? No, you know what I'm talking about. No, which one? I was a person oh, was who Was this could, the standing and sitting? No, no. <laughs> this was... I was a person who lived my life joyfully. I didn't have any problems, no matter what way somebody put the toilet paper. Mm, then mm, suddenly okay. you told me the right way to do it, mm -hmm, which yeah. was yep. over. Over. We improved your life. Yep. And then now I'm a toilet paper Nazi. I flip them <laughs> if I'm in a house that needs them flipped. Good for you, man. Yeah, good. Yes. But what? what I'm about to say is... I don't give a crap about how the eggs come out. Yeah. Oh, yes, you do. I grab them at random. You do what? You no. You grab them at random? You don't, you don't just You're grab grabbing one the from middle? the middle, one from the left, one from the right, and just put... Now, do you put... What, are your, you a psychopath? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't... I can tell You're you... You're grabbing from the middle? I can tell you I honestly don't care. I don't notice or care. My whole life has been this oh. just completely devoid of any plan when it comes to eggs. I make eggs every morning almost. Full anarchist. Yes, Full and does not believe in laws, <laughs> rules. 
Al, have you ever thought about the order in which you're taking the eggs out? Don't answer. All right, you guys. <laughs> okay, hold on. Here's here's a follow up kind of very important aspect to this. What do you do with the shells? Oh, Are you yeah. putting the shells back in? You're the not going to like my answer. Are you putting them? What do you eat them? <laughs> no. <laughs> what what answer can you give me that's I, really going to? Because I put me. the sh I put the shells back in the carton. That's totally normal. Is it? That's yes. see. That's the, that's the answer I thought I was going to get. I've caught. Uh, I've done it. I, I've seen it done a couple times, and I thought it was abnormal. Al, they go back in the carton for me. So wait, you crack them, and then you just now do you wash your hands, or do you just lick your fingers clean? Wait, you. What does washing your hands have to do he, with where you put the shell? He's saying he's getting egg all over his uh, yolk on. Do you his... crack your egg and drop the egg into the pan without getting yolk on you? No. Oh, okay. No, and then I wash my hands. Oh, okay. But, but I, you so put I, the shells back I, in versus in the sink. I put them in the sink. I we do both, but my wife, I would say the majority of time, she puts the shells back in the carton. And here's why it matters. If you're putting the shells back in the carton, you can't go at random. No. I don't want to look at these full egg things and be I need to have clear delineation of which ones are used and which ones aren't. I don't need to be at the end of my dozen and be like, I don't know if there's any eggs in here or not. So that's why you go. Al thinks left. I'm a psycho now because I put them in the sink. And then you garbage disposal? Yeah, them? I garbage disposal. That's fine. That's normal. I have never heard of that. I, I think I've heard of it before. We, uh, that's what I personally do. You go my sink? Wife, I go sink. My wife goes carton. Yeah. They're both acceptable. <laughs> now but, hold on. So how far away is your sink from super close the stovetop? So like, but is this a your your Kobe and your shoe? Uh, I'm no, I'm not Kobe because I need to rinse my hands. So it's practical okay, for me to just, just go drop. I it. drop them in and then rinse my hands at the same motion. Mm, yeah, but okay, okay. But as far as when this but what is you're like, saying makes sense about the order. If you're putting them back in, you need to follow an order. Otherwise, you're getting all that's right dirty with the clean. Yep, hundred percent. And and you dirty have to go with the clean. You have to go left to right. That's the weirdest <laughs> part about this question. Oh, it's left to right or right to left. Well, then that just depends on what country you live in, right? You got to go reading. <laughs> You've got to go how you read. Sure. If you're in Israel, I I support you going right to left. You read right to left. You take those eggs right to left. But we're over here in America, we're top to bottom, left to right, people. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I guess I just, I, I'm sad that this question came up because my hold life on, had hold been on. just joyful. Wait. Owl just said he does columns. Now, columns is- Right to left in columns. Columns is the, is the long, right? No, Wait. that's a row. That's, that's a, the row? Yeah. yeah okay. So well, okay. He, so he's going left to right. No, he, columns makes sense to me. Yeah. Top to bottom, left to right. Hold on, hold on, hold yeah, on. Yeah, top to so bottom, then, left to right. Jason's right. So if right. you're looking at this thing, yeah. you take top left, okay, bottom yeah. left. Yeah, but the next the, top left, the next bottom left. That's the then, best thing to do with shells. Otherwise, you're going to have shells up above a whole row of clean right. eggs. Oh, see, I go I, I go like uh, just like reading. Oh, you go full yeah. so top I'll go, line. I'll go left to right. Left but you don't right. put shells back in or you do? I do. I put the shells back in. See, if you don't put the shells back in, you have a completely – like safe space you you do create a bit of a of a weight distribution problem though oh with your method yeah it w and i have experienced this where you you grab yeah it, that makes sense if one side ends up getting all light you pick it up and you miscalculate how heavy mm -hmm. the eggs will actually be so there is a problem with is my, a, my method a, but it's too there, late i'm old i'm stuck in no ways. could there be a diagonal uh, solution to this no. you go you go zigzag <laughs> if you go this, a square <laughs> egg carton no, you go zigzag. Uh, my eggs come in a five by five grid. <laughs> no, zigzag. You can't. You can't picture a zigzag in your head. Yeah, but th then you then you're not gonna know which. I'm the weight shells. distribution is perfect with zigzag. That's all I'm saying. It's not mm. perfect with zigzag. It's You'd have basically to go left perfect. And it's not at all. You got to go one from the left, one from the right. If you're going, <laughs> hold on, we're we're drawing we're drawing zigzag yeah. lines. So you start on the left and you go zigzag. Now stop. Now stop because that's how many eggs oh. you've taken. Right. Which side of the carton is heavier? The right side is heavier, and your left is still. All right, this is not good podcasting. <laughs> I think, but we've solved a lot of problems. So. Yeah, I think we nailed it. So Noah, we, it's you're a welcome. terrible question. Now I'm going to think about this tomorrow. My life was perfect. All right, Mason from Patreon. Oh, well, thank you for your support. <laughs> you discover that you received four hundred dollars worth of Amazon gift cards from your company as a thank you for your hard work. Do you reward yourself with something big, like a new guitar, piece of tech, a toy, or do you share it with the wife so that you can each get something smaller or something for the house? 
Hmm. So um, this is good. This is good. Uh, here's the thing. I love it when people give gift cards mm -hmm. because it's permission to spend. 100%. When you give somebody cash, they feel like maybe uh, I got to pay a bill. I got to I gotta put this to a more responsible use. When you give them a gift card to a place, it's permission to spend. You have to. You're like, oh, I got a Pizza Hut gift card. Looks like we're ordering Pizza Hut. Yeah, you, you can't buy a, you know, practical things with a Pizza Hut but gift card. But specifically with Amazon. Amazon, mm -hmm. you can live both ways. I mean, you, you can, can get practical. You can get your groceries if you want, or you can get a cool guitar or, or whatever. I don't think this is a question so much of, th this sounds like Mason is, is saying, do I hide it from the wife uh. or not? But what I'm saying is this isn't about hiding it from the wife. This is practical versus impractical. And if you got a gift from uh, your company for hard work, don't you dare spend that on a practical need. <laughs> don't you dare get groceries or garbage bags. Really? Refill. Oh, you got to. You, this is your opportunity to splurge. Get some nice. It does nice. suck. I know that if I deposit one of those gift cards into our like family Amazon account, it's going to be dribbled away on trash bags and Lysol and some restocking of a vitamin. Like, oh, get yourself I, a robot. <laughs> get yourself a robot dog. You need a lot more. You than just need about seventy four thousand six hundred dollars. The, the the best part of Amazon gift cards is. Like we talked about the, the practicality. Someone gives me a restaurant gift card. It, number one, it's in my wallet. Number two, I forget it's ever there. All right, cause those, I've got like 10 restaurant I never gift go, cards that I'm not I, using. I pull it up. I'm like, oh, holy crap. I was supposed to buy ice cream five years ago. Yeah. Uh, but Amazon, it's like a little – it's like when you find the $20 bill in your winter coat when you go to check out. It's like, how would you like to pay? Oh, well, we're, we will apply $33.85 from your gift card. You go, oh, hot dog. See, I got, <laughs> got money on here. And I get that, but I actually think the broad nature of Amazon is worse for the gift card. I need something at a, like a, a more fixed. Like you brought up Pizza Hut. Maybe not that. But like Guitar GameStop. Center. Yeah, right? game, you give me $400 mm -hmm. for GameStop. I get to go buy video games. When it's Amazon, mm. it's too broad. Interesting. You get like a four hundred dollar gift card to like Brooks Brothers. Be like, ooh, I can get a back scratcher for this. <laughs> <laughs> but look, it lights up. Yeah, <laughs> zero gravity. But I but I do agree with you in the sense that like Amazon, if you if you take that gift card and you put it to your account, yeah, it disappears. Yeah, you don't even feel any of it. It's just. They suck your well, money I, back out of that gift and card. Unless you had one thing that you really wanted to buy before you got the gift card, you are not excited about anything because you have it's too much choice. Like uh, the choice is just infinite. Yeah, and you Jay, with, with the suck, it would suck in your money just right from you. Like when you return stuff now on Amazon, they're always like, "Hey, we can put this back on your credit card. It'll take you know three to five business days." Or you could put it right in your Amazon account, yeah. and we'll give you that money right now. Yeah. I'm like, oh, well, I'm going to be back, Mr. They, Amazon. They do have a lot of so, yes, please. funny incentives, too. Like when you're, you know, you can get something shipped the next day, or we can ship it more conveniently for us in two days, and I'll give you a free movie. <laughs> I have done that method so many times, and I think I've collected zero of those rewards. Right. I never remember. But you want the value? Yeah. yeah. I'm like, well, I don't need this. Maybe I'll rent a movie on Amazon Prime. I don't know. Yeah. The answer is, well, I, I, I'm lying to myself. The answer is no, I will not. Can you use the $400 worth of Amazon gift cards to buy gift cards to more specific places? I think you can. What? Yeah. You want to go to Outback Steakhouse? <laughs> Boom, bam. $400? <laughs> $400. You want a $400 Outback? It's just a currency exchange? Yeah. But, the, but, the, but it's a currency exchange that limits you. So it's a currency exchange that says... I'm going to have to spend something on me. That's Not what you do. You need to panic <laughs> by a specific place unless you're going to let it just go away on practical items. That's the answer. Okay. Aaron from the website with a much different question. If you eat your limbs, do you <laughs> gain weight or lose weight? Oh, That is mind-bending. If you eat your limbs, do you gain weight or lose weight? I mean... Well, you're going to lose weight. Yeah, how is it not lose weight? Are you ever... If you never poop or pee again, 
then you stay the same. Well, but no, but is that true? That's yeah. the real question. Is like if you ate your limbs right now. Yes. Do you weigh the exact amount if at you, the end of eating your limbs as right now? You're going to have to make a limb smoothie. Yeah, I think you like, have oh, to weigh I mean, the same. You, well, no, we're, same. We're, we're, we're kind of moving past the fact that it's a little bit cumbersome to eat your own limbs off. But it's not just the, you got the bone, you got the marrow. But does the smoothie have the exact same mass? I would. Uh, yes. I, I think so. But obviously when you pour it. In your cup or you're your gonna mouth, lose, you're, you're going to lose, lose a, a little of, bit of the residue. Of the, uh, of this the is limb, really gross. The limb smoothie. I think <laughs> the implication is you could drink the limb smoothie with all of its contents. You're not losing some to the smoothie. Yeah, but it'll just it, it won't all get used. Does anything happen in limb terms poops. of like uh, the science of uh, you know your saliva and digesting it and like can you lose weight that way by eating your limb? Right. Yes. Would you weigh the exact same amount? No, you would weigh less. Okay, but how does that scientifically happen if it's the exact same? Let me ask you this, Mike. All right. If you eat a 10-pound weight. <laughs> okay. Okay, you hold a 10-pound weight or you mm -hmm. eat a 10-pound mm -hmm. weight. Do you weigh 10 pounds more at the end? For a little bit. Yeah, you have to. For a Until little bit. Until you excrete Even anything Even if you out. chew it up. Yes, chewing something. If you were to take a 10-pound weight and chop it up into little tiny bits and put it on a scale, it's going to weigh 10 pounds. Now, wait no, a second. No matter disappeared. You gain weight because of caloric intake on top of like the weight of something right your body builds weight so are you getting caloric value out of your own limbs because they're meat you well, yeah yeah you'll get you'll get nutritional value so will you from gain the weight smoothie. no because you also lost why did somebody link me to an there. outback steakhouse gift card <laughs> are you are you treating the the company apparently Ooh. um What's about that outback outback bread? So just let me put this out there because I'm trying okay. to understand the science, which you both seem to comprehend oh, we perfectly. Fully understand. Yes. Yeah. You eat your limbs right now. Mm -hmm. You weigh 24 hours, no poop, no pee. Mm -hmm. Do you weigh exactly the same as you do right now? Mm, no, because there's things like sweat and. Uh, but what about the calories building fat in your body, which weighs? But you more? but you won't absorb all the calories. Your body will. Re will take what it can, right. it'll store some, and then it'll reject the the other in a triumphant limb smoothie diarrhea. <laughs> triumphant. It would be triumphant. Okay. This is a, I this mean. This is not a weight loss method we <laughs> approve of. Right. Now, Aaron, Aaron, uh, you've disturbed us to a uh, significant degree. Thank you. The Spitballers Draft. It's too grisly. Otherwise, we'd mm, recommend the it. gristle. Too much gristle. Yeah, yeah. you got to smoke it first. It's you, really a hassle. Ideally, yeah. And you, then you're only got one hand for the smoking, and it's a problem. Yeah, it's a, it's just not easy. Yeah, uh, from what I understand. All right, hospital battle royale. That is our draft today. <laughs> a hospital battle royale. We tend to visit various locations and battle with one another. You talked about what would we do in our retirement. Apparently, this is the answer. We would fight. In a variety of locations mm -hmm. until one of us reaches the big R, <laughs> the big retirement ceremony, which after this draft, you'll both be suffering from the big R when oh, I get done with you. No way. <laughs> no way. My list is so good. And not only is it oh, a my good list, list is terrible, <laughs> but I just thought of something to add on that I, I love. Oh, man. All, all right, right. So we are all dropped off at a hospital. All right. Now, I know Jay... It, Al, just keep Jason in check here because I don't know how much cheating he's going to do. All of but the we cheating. know it will be a lot. <laughs> but Mike gets the first pick. Yeah, th and this is not a great place to be. There are, s there's at least a handful of things that could easily go at the number one mm -hmm. spot. Uh, but I'll take the one that is the most fun. Maybe it's not the most practical, but it's the most fun, and it would be terrifying to see me r uh, running. At you with a defibrillator. Yeah, that was that wow. Was, that was my number two. That was my number two pick because because of Clear. what you said, it's just so fun. <laughs> exactly. I mean, it might not it might not win. We're oh, we're gonna get it so most many, definitely won't win. We will get notes from doctors of well, you can't actually uh, no in in our battle royale. I can just hit you. It with basically them. just shocks you. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And you'll be you'll be shot back multiple feet. So, the, but don't make the mistake of. You know, or you don't rub them together. Well, if you use that thing 
after you've killed me, you may just bring me back for the rest of the fight. Oh, mm. that's so just a be good careful. Point. That's a good, you can't over defib, or I might be like asking you, please, please. <laughs> so you got the defibrillator. That I wasn't do. even on my list, which means my list is probably crappy. <laughs> oh man. Now uh, let's get the cheating out of the way. Oh, I assume gosh. I cannot take the ambulance, right? <laughs> Because I'll run you guys down. The, the ambulance is not inside of the, the ambulance hospital. was 100% on my list. Well, you- <laughs> it was my secret last pick. I'll take the medical chopper. <laughs> All, All right, right it's the ambulance be inside, is off the list. Yeah, of course. Inside of course, the hospital. Of course, I would never allow can I, that. Can I get the hospital shotgun? Is that available? <laughs> I'll take the security <laughs> guard. Um, <laughs> now there's two of me and he's got a gun. All right. Let's be real. Okay. Yeah, let's get serious. We're we're in a fight. <laughs> Mike has a I am going. This thing's getting serious. <laughs> this, is, this is getting serious. I Look, when we do these fights, mm-hmm. it's about what can be weaponized, and I'm taking one that already is one. I'm taking a bone saw. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah, All baby. right. I'll yeah. go right through you. Uh, well, slowly. And yeah. Like, so- <laughs> like, but methodically, like, hold still kind of just right yeah, through just you. Just give me 20 back and forth. Yeah. I never would have imagined uh, the 101 drop into me here. Hmm. Uh, but it did. So hmm. I'll just take a scalpel. I mean, I'm, yep. I'm going to be. That was, that was slicing, on my list. That was dicing. on my list. It, it's far more practical nice. than your bone saw. No, it your is. Your bone not. saw is, ve- is it's unwieldy. My bone saw is so so much larger that he's not going to be able to get at me while I'm swinging a bone saw at him. He's got his little tiny itty bitty baby I, knife. I don't know, man. I think the leverage on it's going to be all weird. If you hit me with a bone saw, I'm going to have a little cut. If you Unless hit me you with a scalpel, to- I'm going to lose a limb. No, but you will be sl- have a little you'll cut. Be slashed open. It will not be a little cut, man. It's a scalpel. I, I'm, t- I'm telling it's you. It's all essence. It's big cuts. <laughs> this is what they use to open the body. But I understand that this after is- you... Look, you might need to dispose the body. Yeah. Yeah. And you'll have uh, the tool. Now the question is, uh, where to go from here? <laughs> uh, and I think I need to be smart here. Uh, and I really want something but I want it to come back to me. I'm going to take the risk. Okay. So I am going to go with something that I know you're afraid of, independent of being in a battle. Mm. Oh, no. Something spiders. that you're terrified of. Uh, I'm going to take some syringes. Yeah, that was Some my... needles. I'm going to be able to throw those things it's while a, I'm wielding my it's a great scalpels. Pick. It's a great pick. And uh, It will make me duck. That is true. It will make me jump out of the way. And so that is a great pick. Thank you. Um, you, I already know you ain't jumping very far there, Mr. Two Leader. <laughs> <laughs> so I ain't worried about it. All right, it's to me. I've I've got I've got a couple clever ones that I that I think I'm gonna take later and they're gonna come back to me. This is just this was top of the mind. This was we I heard about this. I was mm-hmm. I was I put myself in a little hospital room and I said I looked around mentally. And I said, yeah. What what's here? Because there's no bone saw in that room. Hopefully. And so I look around. And there it was. Yeah, it's the first thing I would grab before in a fight. It's just the IV stand. It's oh, the, uh, you know okay. what I mean. It's it's basically a spear. Yeah. I could turn it around, have the wheels at you. I can even ride the thing if I <laughs> want to. You know what I mean? The, all these floors in the totally. hospital are Re- they're real they're real stable. But, pulled a lot of weight. But the IV stand, you could keep I, me at a distance. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah. That, and then you'll hit me with little tiny hypodermic needles. I imagine that thing functioning like uh, like the chair when they're holding off a lion. You know what I mean? Hun- yes, that mm. is what it is. Yeah. Now I, I need a whip. I don't you, know about you the have spear. your bone saw. I don't know you about can... the spear part of it, but I get what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's a good pick. Thanks. All right. I have my picks. Uh, number number one. I'm not sure that this this pick is uh, this type of a pick. I don't think it's ever been taken oh no in oh no <laughs> this is a weird thing I for have, you to be reacting. i have a pick that we've never taken this type of a pick because this this is not for you guys no! this pick is for me i know i'm, I'm if i'm fighting andy has got a scalpel i'm taking at least a few slashes of your scalpel oh, you're so smart jason's got a bone saw i'm getting hit at least a few times with the bone saw am i gonna feel it 
No, because I'm going to be nitrous up, baby. You give me the gas, and I will feel none of your attacks. Oh, man, you are that so is close. so to- funny. No, no, there's another one you could take, and you'll be on the ground. I, no, 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 hold on, hold on. I, I don't want to leave Mike's pick for a second yeah. because it's hilarious. And also it's hilarious because as opposed to you finding a piece of armor, mm-hmm. you're willing to take the damage. <laughs> yes. You just don't want to feel it. I will it. die, but I won't no. feel it. <laughs> you want to die numb I or also, giggling. I also love that your, both of those your wits about you have now been diminished because slightly. I've seen... But your voice sounds like this now. Sli- they have slightly... Look, No, I've got it. It's I can... You I, went if I with, need a little... I don't need to just sit there and count to ten. I can just take... <laughs> No, we're good. We're good, man. <laughs> right. he's, he's sitting there trying to figure out how to turn his defibrillator on. Oh, he's, nitrous, nitrous. he's nitrous. I'm going to die, but I'm going to die happy. He's shocking himself. <laughs> oh, I'm passing out. It's clear. Yeah. Yeah, you, if you're looking for me, I will be in the corner. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. You um, get another pick. Lucky you. And it's uh, this one is it's a bit armor. I thought you were going to go with this one, Jason. Okay. It, I mean, it's a classic. You see people hitting the head with it all the time in the movies. I will take a bedpan. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. a bedpan's good. It's bedpan's I can good. wield this thing as a weapon. I can block. <laughs> Maybe yeah. I got some poo I can use as a weapon. But be careful of them. I mean, it's metal, right? Yes. So be careful with the defibrillator. That's all I'm saying. Well, I Just, got those on my, on my hips. All right. Those are <laughs> <laughs> clear. The all best right. is drawing right. the hospital. All right. We only got one pick before... The one that I want gets back to me. So, Jason, don't ruin it. Well, I'm not going to ruin it because you weren't upset by Mike's pick. Mm-hmm. I was tilted because the I, there were two that I, I, I thought, eh, you guys aren't going to think of this. And you did you did think of the right line of thinking. It's not just an, a what's it do to you, but what can it do to me? Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm taking the same line of thinking, but I... I'm taking a shot of adrenaline. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, I'm going to be strong. I'm basically on PCP. <laughs> Let's go. You want to fight someone crazy on one. drugs? I'm stronger, I faster. Got- I mean, I'll die after the fight. Was, you know yes. what I mean? Like, But I will win the fight. I've got a new defensive plan on Jason, which is just, I'm just going to run around the hospital <laughs> until his heart explodes. Cause, cause now I looked, doomed. I looked this up. Adrenaline lasts until... You Whatever. die. <laughs> <laughs> sure, that would stop it. But it lo- it it lasts basically when 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 adrenaline comes, it lasts until whatever event is happening uh, is over. So that no joke. Well, wow. yeah, but not not the drug though. You're talking about adrenaline in your system. Yes, I am. But sh- <laughs> yeah, I was like, I, I'm <laughs> trying to be all smart. Yeah. Um, yeah, adrenaline will suppress your appetite, which would be key to keeping going in this. That's great, man, because hospital cafeteria is <laughs> underrated. <laughs> oh, man, Mike's defibrillator mixed with... with... With Jason's adrenaline heart? Well, look, I, I, I wouldn't be doing myself a service in one of these battle royales if I didn't go to my roots in these fights. Now, look, we've been in a home improvement store before. And you've seen me cruising around. Another lawnmower? You've seen me cruising around in a lawnmower. Look, I've got a scalpel. It's quick. It's wieldy. Mm-hmm. I've got a bunch of syringes. I'm throwing them. But you know what? You ever mm-hmm. been hit with a drive-by? I'm taking a wheelchair, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Those hallways are wide, and I'm going to get from point A to a point B. Wheelchair? Oh, I'm taking a wheelchair. I thought I knew your pick. And it also has wheels, but it has so much more practical purpose Impossible. than sitting down in a wheelchair and going slower. Is it the bed? <laughs> yes. Oh, no, I get a running start. You oh, get a running sure. start for the wheelchair? Then you're darn right I do. How does that... Bra- what does a running start with a wheelchair look like? First of all, like? I probably have an electric one. First of all, you can't run when you're in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> you going backwards on this thing? You're running and then jumping into it? I'm going to look the mental picture of me doing a drive-by syringe throw at you is all I need. All right. Oh man. <sighs> Wait, how many? Is this my last pick? It is. Oh no. Do you just have so many? I, I believe I it do. is my pick. Oh, Ooh, thank oh, you. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Jason. I, that was not intentional. Thank you, Jeremy. That is exactly what I. It's a bobsled push-off with the wheelchair. That's right. I don't think it's gonna last very long. You're not long. gonna be able to. Jump the back. Most hospitals, you don't know this. Most hospitals are at a tilt. So if I start at one side, mm, they're they're graded out. The momentum. So all we have to do is go up <laughs> and then laugh at his wheelchair. We're on high ground. Mike won't know up from down. He's on nitrous. That's true. Wandering around with a bedpan, probably peeing in it. Yeah. Mike's I'll take just- a colostomy bag because I'm gonna need it. <laughs> 
All right, all right. I need to make another pick. You think a colostomy bag bomb one oh, would have been man. effective? That would. I'd rather <laughs> a colostomy <laughs> bomb. A colostomy oh, no. bomb. Oh yuck! Oh, don't miss some of that. All right, I have to make one more pick, and uh, I'm gonna go with something a little bit, a little bit surprising, but uh, I might need it to use these needles to maximize their value. Hmm. And. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take a bunch of IV tubing and I'm gonna wrap it around your neck. I'm gonna okay. set traps with it. Okay. So you got um, like a whip? I, I I can use it as a whip. I can use it as a uh, watch him to, nay nay. Sorry. To, to, <laughs> I, can, I can use it to strangle you. Did you just whip and nay? Uh, you know it. I mean, <laughs> and I'll set a bunch of traps up with it and I'll trip you with it like Home Alone style. Oh okay. Mm. Yeah, you're going down. I will slip. And then that I'll ride on top of your body with my wheelchair. All right. Oh, <laughs> it's not making it over him. Okay, so I'm I'm now I'm on the clock for my last pick and and I've got a problem because my best pick on my sheet, the one that I want the most is defensive. It's a mm. shield if you will. But okay. I've I've already got the IV stand that's not really a weapon. Agreed. And I've got a bone saw which is a weapon, but my adrenaline shot makes me a weapon, but I feel like I'm one weapon short. So, do I go weapon or shield? <laughs> oh, second thoughts. All right. I am going to take a surgical mallet. This is basically... That's a thing? That is a thing. A, it surgical, is a surgical mallet. Now, is that just a hammer? It is basically just a hammer, except it's double-sided, Weak. super metal. Oh, if... Go Weak. Right now, no, Google wait, surgical mallet. Find mallets. something dangerous in a surgical textbook is this like a like the hammer they use to test your reflexes it's on your no it's not a little <laughs> rubber it's yeah. not a little rubber triangle that hits your knee this is for this is to get my bone does saw it, through i'm gonna hit tool? the back of my bone saw with my surgical you want us mallet. to lay down and let you perform surgery on us and we're not going to does that knee tool do anything else no or, or if they created a it's a hammer it's rubber hammer tool that does one thing yeah, but you, like, you in, because what else does a tongue depressor do? I mean, it does one thing. It, but those are disposable. Like, it's a stick, and you could do other things with a stick. But like, if this is, and it, it's not like you can't just poke someone in the knee, and their their knee flares out with a reaction. They need the special hammer tool. Use your blade hand. <laughs> just, just blade hand my knee. I don't know. Just this is silly. Ruminating silly over there. All right. Yep. So you took uh, some sort of hammer nobody knows about. The doctors out there, <laughs> they know. The surgeons out there, the the next levels. All right, Mike, you get a last pick. This brings me back to my my uh, my medical machine gun. <laughs> like, you with a bedpan, a defibrillator, and some nitrous right now is my favorite mental picture. You're certainly in the corner, yes. waiting to revive yourself. <laughs> oh man! Now I, what? I, now I, what? Yeah, I only have one on my list, and it's so stupid. <laughs> oh, good, good. All right. Well, we I'll be I'll clearly be in a in a good mental state, really focused from uh the nitrous. And I already I've already accepted that I'm going to uh take some damage here. But I don't want to be bleeding everywhere. So I got to I got to help myself out. I'll take some I'll take the stitches. <laughs> You're going <gonna, laughs> to stitch yourself back up while we're trying to I'm going to call a timeout. I will back up. I'll take Take a couple of nitrous hits and then stitch myself up, and I'll be good to go. Could oh, you stitch man. yourself? Do you think you could actually oh, stitch could I yourself? Stitch Heck yes. You yeah. could? Yeah. 1, I could stitch percent. another person. No, I could stitch myself. Oh, my gosh. That's super Could you super remove impressive. a bullet from yourself? Yes. Like in the Wild West? Can now, you pull your you, own tooth? Why do you have- I've, I've ripped several of my own teeth out. Why? Because- it, Like every no, week. No, no, no. That sounds like a weird statement, but no, like as a kid, went to the dentist, and it was- uh, I I have baby molars. The roots are completely gone, but they're still real sturdy. And it's if these don't come out, we're gonna have to pull them. So I just over the course of a few days found a little notch and ripped my tooth yeah, out. The irony here is that you took I can handle it. You took nitrous to dull the pain that you yes. apparently don't feel. Well, I don't want to bleed out, and it makes it easier to do the stitches if I can't feel it. I'm Look, very I'm is, very impressed with you. It's foolproof. He's snitching on people over there um <laughs> oh yeah 
<laughs> Welcome to the Spitballers Comedy Podcast, everybody. So let me let me d- check the scoreboard. We got a whip and nay nay, <laughs> nay nay, and then we got a snitches get stitches. That is correct. <laughs> so Mike took a defibrillator. He took laughing gas. He took a bedpan, and he took stitches. Guys, Look, I don't think I'm gonna win. I've been on nitrous before. <laughs> it did not make me feel like I was going to win a fight. It did didn't it? make me think I was really funny telling jokes to a nurse. That's what it did. <laughs> Yeah, oh, you're going to be hysterical. You will be the funniest. We will we will stop fighting for a while to record. There's bedpan guy. <laughs> Is he stitching himself again? The so my shield Mike, you're not even hurt. <laughs> stop. There's no cut there. Stop stitching yourself. <laughs> I don't looks, feel it. Oh, preventative. I don't feel it. Preventative, preventative stitches. Preventative stitching. You'll never be able to get through all my stitches. Jason has a bone <laughs> saw. He's got his IV stand, which I thought was a great pick. I did not have that on my list. An adrenaline shot, which I believe probably more useful than the nitrous and a surgical mallet i went scalpel syringes a a really fast nimble wheelchair and some (laughs) iv tubing and and the the pick that i really i wanted but i felt like it was too defensive at the end Mm -hmm. i thought about it right was we started if only you guys had you know some kind of gun because a cadaver shield would be fantastic (laughs) you've got to get through a dead body a a dead body yeah (laughs) I mean, you see it in the movies, the right? Meat shield, yeah. See, the meat shield. That would be the pin cushion. <laughs> Absolutely. Get, try getting the scalpel through double human layers. Did you <laughs> see? I I thought about drafting. I mean, you guys both took drugs, different drugs. Uh, Is there any offensive drugs? I didn't know if I could get a vial of blood with like an infection in it and throw it at you. Mm. It, it got a little bit. Well, I mean, there's like you could hit somebody with a. What what do they use to put people to sleep? Besides, yeah, some. Uh, oh, I've got I've got that I've got anesthesia drugs on my list, yeah. but I think I got to get that into a vein, so yeah. that's gonna be hard. <laughs> yeah, um, I got a lab coat if you want to look good while you're like, Ooh, you I, know, yeah, I, I, fashion I, is important. I had a fleeting thought of do I just take the the hospital robe, so I'm nib- I'm real nimble. Oh, I I had the I'm whole, nimble but covered the whole X-ray machine on mine. Like I'm not gonna let you guys have your lead vests, and I'll just turn that thing off. Oh, the lead. That would have been a great pick. Actually, the lead vest themselves oh would goodness, have been great. That's, that's better than a meat shield. I could actually wear that thing. Oh, a lead vest is perfect. I thought about trying to lock one of you guys in one of those iron lungs, too. I think they got those at the hospital. They still got the iron lungs, Al. You know this. For polio, right? Uh, they, 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 once, in, once you build one, you've got them forever. Yeah, there's no knee hammer. I'm sure there's a lot of different uses. Oh. oh right, and uh, I. You guys have anything else? No. Oh mercy. What did we learn today? Oh man, I learned that a lead vest would have been a great pick. Yeah, that that would have been good. way better than three fourths of my picks. <laughs> way better than stitches, <laughs> a stitches kit. Uh, I learned that I am looking forward to the days when robots can rule my life, mm. and that you may cry when they die. Yeah, I oh, that is something I learned today. I learned that Mike Wright doesn't feel pain regardless of nitrous and is willing to rip his own teeth out. Yeah, why would you need nitrous if you're like, yo, dude, I could pull a bullet out, that's rip a, my teeth out? That's a great point. Maybe he's been on nitrous for quite a while. <laughs> it didn't say it didn't hurt. I'm just a man. Goodbye. Thanks for listening to the Spitballers Podcast. <laughs> to see what other nonsense the guys are up to, check out spitballerspod.com.